G'day and welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Today we're looking at July 21st, 2024's Irregular Sudoku by Clover. Clover's one of us that is here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy and it is a pleasure to be solving this puzzle for you today. Um, I hope wherever you are in the world that you have had a fantastic day. Uh, I have, other than the fact that this is the third time I'm recording this solve due to technical difficulties. Um, so, who are we? We are Gas, genuinely approachable Sudoku. We create genuinely approachable variant Sudoku for you. If you like the New York Times stuff, feel free to drop us a like, um, and you'll get a new one of these every day. Uh, you will find the link to today's puzzle in the description down below. You will also find hat times. Hat times are our marker of how fast or how slow you are solving today's puzzle. Uh, two hats is for a very fast time, one hat is for a pretty fast time, and everyone gets a dinosaur because we love you all equally. That being said, let's get into today's puzzle. So, today's puzzle is irregular Sudoku. So, normal Sudoku rules apply. Each, uh, each column each row uh, and each weird region must contain the digits one to nine once each. Um, that's it. There's nothing else special today. So um, let's just get into it. Uh, so this is a rotationally symmetrical puzzle. So we will be able to get away with a lot of rotational symmetry. It isn't truly perfectly rotationally symmetrical, but that's fine. We don't really need anything else once we get going. So one, two, where does one, two appear in the top right region? Uh, one is forced to be there via Sudoku because we can't put it in any of those cells with that one there. And two must go down here. We can actually do the same thing all the way around the grid. Where do three and four go? Well, if three goes here and four goes there, where do five and six go in the bottom left grid? Well, we have a five here, um, which tells us how our five, six pair goes. And we have a seven, eight over here, which tells us uh, that it can't go in those five cells. And then the seven here will resolve our seven, eight. Um, now, where does two go? Let's go back in reverse, just make your head spin a little bit. Where does two go in column one? Well, it can't go in those five cells because it's in this region. So two must go down here. I believe someone christened this the law of leftovers. I don't remember who it was. Um, eight in row nine, can't go in any of those cells. So eight must go there. Uh, where does six go in column nine? Six can't go in any of those cells. So six must go there. Four can't go in any of these cells. So four must go here. Now. Where do one and two go in this box? One and two can't go here uh, because of those cells and meaning one and two must go in hey, those two cells. One rule uh, tells which way around they go. Three and four. Uh, well, three and four can't go in any of those cells and we have a three here, which tells us how these go. Uh, five and six can't go in any of these cells. Uh, so five and six, five, goes that way and then finally seven and eight can't go in any of these cells so seven tells us which way around these go eight and seven now we can actually go backwards once again where do five and nine go in column two well we have a nine and a five here so they can't go in any of those cells nine here rules it out of that cell so that's five and that's nine uh, in this one, where do three and seven go? Well, we, uh, they can't go here. So three is ruled out of that cell. So this is three and then seven. Where do one and five go in this column? One and five can't go in those cells. We have a five in this box and a one in that box. So we know the order. And where do seven and nine go? Seven and nine can't go in those cells. So we uh, must know with the seven there, which way around they go, nine and seven. Um, that is basically all of the rotational symmetry we're gonna get with this puzzle. Um, this is where it breaks off a little bit. Now, this is just a pure, unadulterated rush of how much uh, classic Sudoku can you do? Uh, so, in this region, we need to play six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, we have a nine, seven, six here, which means eight must go here. And we also know that we have seven and seven, so seven must go there. This is now a six, nine pair. 
In here, we need to place two, eight, and nine. These two cells see a two and a nine, so that must be an eight. Uh, over here, this is two, four, and nine. Can't quite do anything with that just yet. But one, two, three, and four go down here. One, two, three means that this must be a four. Uh, so this is one, two, and three. I'm trying to see if I can do that before Conflict Tracker comes up with anything else. We cannot quite do that just yet. Uh, what do we got here? Three, four, five, and six to go here. Well, three, four, five means that must be a six. Uh, three, five, put a four here, and this must be a three and a five. Um, this cell now sees four and six, so this must be a one. Six over here will t uh, means that this must be a four and a six to finish off that region. Uh, three, six, and eight to go here. Well, where do I place eight in this region? We have eight in columns th uh, three and four, so eight can't go there. That's an eight. Three, six left to place. This six here is going to tell us which way around they go. Uh, meaning we can clean that up a little bit. Uh, two, four, and nine left to place here. We can actually do that. Four and four uh, go there. Uh, we have a two in column six, I think that is. I'm struggling to account now. Uh, that's six, that's nine. Uh, and then finally, this is one, two, eight, and nine. Can I do that? Uh, whoa, if I count, I'm not seeing it. Um, but I feel like that's gonna do a lot of our good for us. Uh, we have some just straight up naked singles. Uh, that's an eight, that's a nine, two, nine. Uh, this is a four. And then two and six left to place it here. Six here tells us which way around those go. Uh, two and eight here. That's two telling us which way around these go. And do I have an eight or one? Yes, I do. I've got a nine here, which tells us which way around this one and nine go. Uh, one here. Uh, five and three left in row five. We have a five down here, which tells us which way around this goes. So that's three, five, three, five three and one. This has been a regular Sudoku by Clover. Uh, my name is still Bill Murphy. Remember, for every hat, the hat time that gets posted in the comments, my dear Greyhound Betty gets one pat. Um, if you get two pat, uh, two hats, she gets two pats. If you get a dinosaur, she gets three pats because dinosaurs are just as important and everyone gets one. Uh, wherever you are in the world, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day. Uh, you know, wherever you are in the world, drop a like, comment, say hi. We're pretty friendly. But until then, uh, I will catch you next time. Bye for now.